we have the problem of figuring out what do we do with these men who we've wrongfully detained for 12 years? What do we do with them? Where do we send them now? And then when we do send these 166 men home, which we will, inshallah, we will. They're going to go home. What do you think we're going to do with a $64.5 million facility? We have owned Guantanamo since 1903. It's not part of the Geneva Convention. We can torture people and do all we want. We've got a $64.5 million state-of-the-art facility that can hold 1,200 men, no problem. Do you think we're going to close it when we send these men home? No. No. I don't think we're going to. No. I think instead of having the whole legal process and saying, you know, we don't want you to be in our country, we're going to make it hard for you to get citizenship, no, we're just going to send you to Guantanamo. I'm not joking. Look at what happened with Boston. 9,000. 9,000 police officers to get a kid. The frequency of the staged attacks that are happening in this country is getting more and more frequent. They're happening sooner and sooner. And America is accepting it. They are complacent with it. They are fine with it. They are giving up their freedom for security. They are willing to do this. They're afraid of Muslims because we don't tell them what Muslims are. We don't show them what Islam is. Save our sisters. Our sisters leave the house and they show what Islam is. They dress modestly, they behave, they conduct themselves properly. I have a great deal of respect for the sisters of the entire Ummah of the U.S. because when they leave the house, they can't hide the fact that they're a Muslim. But we can. Do we have our beard? Do we have our kufi? Do we say hello? Do we smile? The easiest form of da'wah? Do we smile? Do we tell our neighbors that we're Muslim? Do we tell our co-workers? These are the things that we need to be doing if we want to fix our problems here in the U.S. Not one of those detainees gave me da'wah. What led me to Islam was their happiness, their disposition. The fact that they could be in Guantanamo and still wake up, believe that God cares about them and live each day. When I think of the Sahaba, I think of the detainees in Guantanamo. Because they have nothing except this on them. Thank you for listening.